question. How, how great was Draco today? <laughs> Draco, Draco, Draco was good. Draco, Draco went out there and uh, you know performed great. Um, you know they they took care of business. How happy were you with the defensive performance? I think nine sacks. A lot of that was coverage too. How pleased were you from start to finish with the D? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, anytime you can you can hold a NFL team to not being able to score a touchdown is is a good showing. Um, but I mean, we got a stack on it. It's, it's it, we can enjoy it today, enjoy it on the right back. But um, we got we got to learn how to stack on this. Christian, how would you describe uh, just the overall game plan that you had today? Me personally? Yeah. What, what was the game plan? I was playing the boundary. Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, we, you know, we just wanted to get to him. Uh, you know, start 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 the game fast. Um, and continue to, you know, keep him on his feet, um, give him a lot of different looks that he hasn't seen, and try to let the defensive line eat, and they, they did that. Did you expect to play as much uh, base as you guys did here today? I mean, no, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. Whatever is called, you know, we go out there and, and get it done. Could you sense any frustration from the Bears receivers, Christian, especially towards the end of the game? It looked like there was a little bit of back and forth between you guys in the secondary and maybe some people on the Bears sideline there. It's, it's football. It's football. Everybody's competitive. You just, you know, you go out there and you have fun. Um, I mean, they, they, they're they doing what they got to do. And, and we came in on a, on a road game and got a dub. So, I mean, that's, that's what we're, we're worried about. As you sort of process what was successful for the defense today, how much was what the guys did um, against the run part of that thought process that allowed you to maybe do some more in, in passing situations? Yeah, I mean that's that's the identity of this defense. We want to stop the run. Um, you know, we want to we want to make you always want to make a team one dimensional. Take away the run, um, so then you know secondary can can make plays and go out there and, and do what we do. Um, so I'm be so being able to do it um, felt good. Did you have to do a double take when you looked in the huddle and Brendan Schooler uh, was in the huddle and the, what Coach Mayo referred to as the Longhorn package? No, I mean practiced it all week. So I mean, uh, School went out there and, and did what he had to do. I think he had a sack. Um, I don't know how many QB pressures he, he had. He probably had a lot. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. Happy for him that he got to get out there on defense and and make his presence felt. A deal like today, how much can you feel the confidence grow as the game goes on? You know, you held them to three, obviously, but just as you guys continue to do what you do, can you feel that in the huddle and, and as, as you proceed? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've talked about this before. It's, it's, as a defense, we don't ever look at the scoreboard. So, I mean, even even if we're up how much, however much we were up or down by however much, you know, we, we go out there as a defense and just take it one play at a time and, and, and try to stop them and get the ball back to to Drake in the offense. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, appreciate it, Joe. Teachers, I guess just start with the feeling of, you know, the way you guys played on defense today. I think they had 11 first downs, nine, you guys had nine sacks. Just a, a thought of start to finish what you were able to accomplish as a defense. Yeah, I am really happy for my guys. Um, I really feel like we challenged ourselves to have a better game. And um, guys like Tony Yellow, uh, Devon Gotchow, uh, Roy, really big in the run game. We wanted to stop them from running the ball, making them one dimensional, and they did a great job. And once we stopped them, guys like Anthony Jennings, uh, first first career two sack game, which is phenomenal. He's been balling all year. Uh, uh, Keon White been hitting the edge, doing his thing. Farms had a great game. So really, is a testament to us playing together. Uh, we couldn't have had none of those plays without our, our DBs shutting out. I think really two good receivers uh, and tight ends. So it was a, a complete defensive effort and then a really overall a big team effort, just playing our ball. <clears throat> How pleased were you with stopping the run? You guys have talked about it all week long as your number one priority. I think you held them like 69 yards on the ground. Yeah, that's when we say uh, Patriots standard football, that's what we have to do stop the run. Good teams stop the run. And uh, this is a good game to get back on track, stopping the run. Their, their line is a bit beat up, and they've, they've been struggling there recently. Did you, given that, did you see kind of an opportunity for 
you know, for you guys as a whole this game to kind of get the pressure on Kayla? Um, honestly, we was down a lot of pressures from the very beginning because we know how good of a quarterback Caleb Williams is. Uh, he can throw the ball deep. Uh, he's very intelligent. He can scramble, use his legs. So he knows how to make plays. He's a big-time playmaker. And with uh, DJ Moore and Allen uh, out there on the edge, he, he can, the game can, can get ugly. So our main focus was just to get after the quarterback, dial up pressures, beat them on the edge, contain them, shut down the run, and uh, make this team one-dimensional and get them out the game early. Oscar? Your sack numbers are picking up a little bit as you go. Is there anything in particular that you're doing you feel more comfortable? Anything as you progress here as you go along game to game? No, nah, I'm not doing anything different. Just working hard. Um, rushing this one, my team. Just dialing in, trying to make my plays. Do you feel, feel okay? What happened there at the end that looked like you got hurt there? Oh, uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> anything else? All right, for sure. Hey, great beer, by the way. Keep it up. <laughs> Keon, certainly uh, a lot to like for you guys defensively today. Yeah. First downs, nine sacks. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think you guys did well as, as a group? I mean, we had nine sacks. <laughs> that was pretty good. I mean, we also went for like one for, I don't know, on third down. That was also pretty good. I mean, you tell me. I, don't, I didn't really look at the numbers I was playing. You guys talked a lot about all week long is stopping the run first. Yeah. How did that go for you guys, what you felt? We stopped the run. Uh, we did, like, I feel like we did a good job stopping the run. Uh, they were trying to be aggressive early. Um, what else? The key was, like, the edge today. I feel like our edge played better. Nothing uh, outside. Yeah, nothing outside. They were trying to bounce it in a lot. Our corner stepped up big. Marcus, uh, Zoe. Um, even on the... Uh, even on the back end, like I feel like we had all those sacks because of our DBs playing a complete game and locking those guys up and just us forcing Caleb to be a pocket passer. So um, I feel like when you keep him in the pocket and don't let him scramble so much, you kind of limit some of his explosive plays. You feel third, fourth quarter, he started looking to rush a little more? Seemed like he was I mean, yeah, he was getting hit, so yeah. pause. But he was getting uh, – we were attacking him and, and getting back there, so – I feel like you you have no choice but to look, keep your eyes down and look at the rush, and, and especially with the way we were pressuring on the quarterback. When you play complementary defense like that, you know, secondary all the way through, how, how much did your confidence grow as a unit as you continue about your business? Um, I mean, I've been saying it all, all year that we are a young defense forced into a lot of starting positions, and what you guys are seeing is us figuring it out. And, and I feel like we are becoming a more cohesive unit week to week. And I, I think the trajectory is on the right path in, in going upward. And Gerard Mayo said it was nice to be able to call the Longhorn uh, yeah. package and see Schooler come up with a sack. Too. Yeah, we did Longhorn, horns down for sure. So uh, Schooler doesn't like that. But, um, nah, so, like, yeah, he got him a sack. So everybody's joining in on the party today. So it was definitely a great defensive win. And you talk a lot about this. How important is it to take this into next week in the, in the Rams practice all the way through? Just continuing momentum. Um, like I said before, we won uh, before. Momentum is a big thing in this league, and so just trying to stack wins. And um, we're gonna get to the film and see what they do, and just try to repeat the process. But we know that you can't just do the same thing week to week because teams are gonna study you. So we just have to, again, grow as a team and as a unit, and just get better and stack days. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Um, could you describe the, the excitement you get when you when they call for the Longhorn package, as uh, Gerard told us just a few minutes ago? Yeah, I mean, it started early on in the week. They told me this was kind of what we were going to be doing, and there was a couple of different ways we were going to be getting to it today. So, you know, every single time third down was up, I was looking over at DC, seeing, you know, if he was going to throw up the Longhorn signal for me to get in there. But, yeah, just it was super, super excited to get in there and just, you know, help, help the team in any way we can today. How many did the sack feel? Oh, that was awesome. It was my first career sack ever, going back to Pop Warner High School and college. So it was a pretty cool feeling. Brendan, uh, before this week, when's the last time you guys have practiced that package and like, how long has it been in there for? Yeah, um, I know we had it with other players before I was here. Um, I think John Jones had a package that was very similar. Um, but this was the first time I ran. I was in the package. So 
the, you know, the whole week, it was, it was, it was pretty exciting. The second sub looked like you kind of closed the pocket there. Just what did you see from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, I think that was kind of just how, you know, the the, the pocket collapsed and, you know, the rest of those guys who were, you know, in, in the front seven did a great job at, you know, doing exactly what they were coached to do, you know, kind of make him scramble to the right. And um, it was my job to go up and, you know, either pull the pull the quarterback up or, you know, contain him. So it was just, you know, playing off those guys and, you know, seeing, seeing the gap and shooting it. And what did you see in your film study of Caleb? You know, as you're preparing to kind of contain him, spy him, obviously sack him today. What did you pick up on? Yeah, I mean, super elusive, super athletic guy, and you know, he makes he makes a lot of guys miss. I think there was 34 snaps um, of him with you know six seconds, or have him having the ball with six seconds or long, longer. So that alone is a crazy stat that some quarterbacks don't even hit in a career. So super elusive guy back there. And, you know, when it was, you know, I was called, you know, to, to go in there and just make sure he doesn't get out of the pocket. It was, I had, took it very serious and, you know, just try to try to study what he was doing, but, you know, it just super erratic back there, you know, just scrambling. So it was, it was just make sure you stay in front of him and, you know, contain him. You're, mo- you're an emotional player, but from last year to this year, it seems like you've got your emotions in check. This mm-hmm. year. What did you do in the offseason to get to this point where, Seems like you've been such control over it. Yeah, I mean, I think I like you said. I wear my emotions on my sleeve while I'm out there, and you know, it's a very, it's a very passionate game that we play. So, I think just just having some growth, like every year, just trying to find something to grow, uh, to you know, to progress and get better at. So, I think that was one of the things that I I needed to be better at was just controlling my emotions when I'm on the field, and you know, channeling them into you know either lifting my guys up or, you know, just screaming or something where I'm not, you know, drawing, you know, a couple penalties like I had last year. So, like I said, it's just, it's all about, you know, bringing these guys together, doing doing whatever it is that the team asks you to do and, you know, coming out with the team win. How much of the uh, 11 first downs, nine sacks, as the game went on, how much did you guys grow and the confidence grow in the defense as you, as you went about your business? I think, you know, I think we just, us flying around and everybody, you know, you know, getting getting in the backfield, it felt like today. So it was just like taking that momentum that we carried into halftime, and then, you know, getting the ball back to our offense. You know, if you know they didn't they didn't start off very hot, but you know, the special teams went out there, and you know, we had their back. And then you know, vice versa, defense had our back when you know we 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 let up like a big return. But you know, our defense out there, and they 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 stood up to the challenge. And so it's all about having complimentary football and having each other's backs. And I think while we were on the field today, you can kind of feel the momentum change and. and and, you know, into our, our, our side of the ball. So it was just awesome to have that feeling and see guys celebrating on the sideline and, you know, helping each other and picking each other up. So it was, it was, it was pretty cool to be part of today. D-Wise. What was your mind I was just, you know, ecstatic. I was, yeah. I, was, I was looking for you guys, you know, to celebrate with you guys because without you guys it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened. So, yeah, thank you for the question. <laughs> How much would you like to build off this as a team and, you know, head towards the Rams next week and just kind of stack some wins together? Yeah, I think it would be, it'd be huge, and it's about, you know, remembering this feeling. You're remembering week one feeling. Remember beating the Jets, you know, when we played them the second time. It's about remembering this feeling and not forgetting the other feeling of, you know, when we don't have the outcome we, ha- we want, but remembering this feeling and just keep it going and lift each other up and keep pushing. And whatever it is we're doing, everyone's asking each other to do more. So it's all about coming back into the building, you know, celebrating this win, but flushing it as soon as we get on to Wednesday. And then it's about preparing for a really good Rams team. Thank you, guys. I'm wondering, kind of on the flip side of that, you guys talked about wanting to run the football uh, all week long. Uh, you guys seem to do that well, over 100 yards, what have you. What worked well collectively in the in the running game? Uh, just, I think the linemen uh, took on the challenge, honestly, uh, and just made it a point to move, move the down guys this week, and I think they did a good job at that, and just all being on the same page, uh, just me and all the backs just trying to get downhill, try to get positive yards. Good to have Big Mike back in a guard second week in a row. You guys seem to have the same mind. Just mm-hmm. let's get five guys so you can get used to reading the blocks. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that, yeah, I think that'll help uh, you know the whole team just getting everybody comfortable and where they're at uh, you know on a week to week basis. So I think that's a positive for us. Drake said he asked AVP if he could address the offense after practice on Wednesday just because he wasn't really happy with what he was seeing. What do you remember about his message? Uh, I appreciate the question. I'll keep it to myself though. Mm-hmm. When you look at what you guys were, were doing as a team, uh, confidence seemed to be growing. How nice was it to use that towards the end of the game and kind of kick some clock off with some of those drives, especially in the fourth quarter? Uh, it feels good. Uh, 
Four minute offense, that's something, you know, I love. Uh our O lineman loves, our offense loves, and uh you know, I think I should have got the first down that on that four minute drive. But you know, uh we won the game, stayed on the field, took a lot of the the time off the clock, so it was a positive. Appreciate it. Thank you.